What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Magic the Gathering Hour. I'm Frank Lepore, and I'll be your host. And uh, I'm here with Twitch chat. And we're going to do another traditional draft Ravnica Allegiance. And I'm going to hit this button. And I'm sure I want to purchase this item. Ooh, Zanaga Zagana. Zanaga Zagana. You say Zanaga, I say Zagana. Let's call the whole thing off. Doo -doo -doo. All right, what do we got here? Four, 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 four. When it enters the battlefield, if you control another creature with a one one counter, draw a card. That seems good. And then you can adapt it, make it an eight eight. Ooh, that seems nice. Ah, oh, that seems. Hey, that seems pretty good, huh? Okay. Okay. Probably going to take Zinaga. Zagana? Oh, Deputy of Detention? This is how we end up three colors. And I don't love being three, two, three colors, but this is a real good card. So what do you even do, man? What do you even do other than go to MeUndies.com slash Frank Laporte for 15% off and free shipping and free returns. Find the link in the Twitch and YouTube descriptions. Could just take Titanic Brawl, but I think we're gonna we're gonna take the Deputy. Cause we can splash either one of these, I guess. Cry of the Carnarium. Oh, Frank, it's Carnarium, you stupid idiot. <laughs> I don't even have glasses to push up anymore because I got LASIK, guys. Detention sphere is good. The problem with this detention sphere is that it's a one three, which is surprisingly more susceptible for both two for ones and two blowouts, which is unfortunate. However, that being the case. I think we're still going to take Azorius Guildgate. We can also take Senate Griffin. Peter Senate Griffin. I mean, Azorius Guildgate's nice because it lets us splash either one of these. Geyer Engineer. Oh, three mana for a 1-1, one, one, and that ramps us to, which is actually not terrible. I might want to try this guy. It seems pretty sensitive. He seems like a sensitive boy. Is Wilderness Reclamation good, guys? I heard people say it's real good, but I don't know if that also extends to Limited. Maybe it does if you have a bunch of... I guess it has to if you have a bunch of Adapter Boys. Let's take the Wilderness Reclamation. Let's see what we're working with here. Frill. Frilled Mystic and a Skatewing Spy? Wow, you're really talking my language here. Hmm. We got an Adapty Boy. I think I just want this Frilled Mystic, I'll be honest with you guys. <laughs> we have Wilderness is not great and limited, Reclaim is gross. Okay, so I can see we're clearly on uh, the same page. I like this 2-2 two -two a lot. I might want the Simic Guildgate over it, but... No, I want the 2-2. I want the 2-2 two -two. The two -two is real good. Chaker chairs Defender and loses Flying. Shimmer of Possibility is fine, right? Look at the top four. Pull in your hand. Game. Ooh, another Guildgate and a Galloping Lizrog. Yeah, we're going to take a Lizrog for this deck. Wow, all of these cards are also very good. Rampage 4-4. Four, four. That can be a 5-5 five, five for 5 or a 4-4 four, four with Haste. Or Steeple Creeper. You just play this guy. Yeah, I actually like the 3-drop the here. Titanic Brawl comes back. I'm okay with that. Alright, this is actually... This seems like a pretty good start to a, a Simic deck. Unlike our last draft, unfortunately. But... You know... What can you do? Okay, so. Mammoth Spider or Incubation Incongruity? I think Incongruity. This is probably better, right? This is just more versatile. Like, looking at the top five, and you can hit a Frilled Mystic or a Deputy of Detention. Like, I don't. Mammoth Spider is fine, but. This is a nice, versatile card. I don't know if we're going to play Senate Courier, but I like the option. I also like having Azorius Guild Gate number two, because then our splash of the Deputy. Oh, wow. Alright, cool. Our splash of the deputy is a little easier. 
Wow, Font of Agonies, huh? That's a that's a cool card to open. Biogenic upgrade. Now we're now we're in the right colors. This seems insane. Did you see how I said now we're in now we're twice? I was like now we're now we're in the right colors. It's almost like it's almost like I was a record and I just skipped. Uh, I don't think it's sneak. I think biogenic upgrade is probably a little stronger, especially when I'm already in the Simic deck. Okay, so we have two of these guys. I would love to have gotten a Frilled Mystic here, but unfortunately it was, it was not meant to be. This pack also isn't that great. We can take a Summary Judgment, but I really want to limit the number of cards I'm splashing for. Didn't see it before typing. All right, good call, good call. Um, I do kind of like Windstorm Drake, but we don't have that many Flyers either. In fact, we have only half of a Flyer. I guess we could get more Erebors. We could just take one of the Gates. I think this is better because it is uncommon. We're not going to be able to play either of these, even though we could splash the double red or the double white here. Mm. I don't really want to, I don't think Sphinx's Insight is that great. I thought I just have Windstorm Drake. Another Windstorm Drake. Mm. I like these two drops. I'll take the two drop. I, I really like Electro Dominance as a card. Yeah, I'm just going to take this guy. Another Lizrog? I actually kind of want the Aeromunculus over the Lizrog here. We do need cheap three drops, and we also want creatures that can fly and that can get counters put on themselves. Uh, here's a Fairy Duelist. All right. You know what? We'll try this Fairy Duelist and see how it goes. Hmm. Okay. I like Gross Spiral here. pack is not ideal but i do like sentinel's mark i think it's actually a fine card just being able to to get in some lifelink i don't care about seven mana wrecking beast i'll just take the sentinel's mark and put it in the sideboard for now oh i like having it at least one applied biomancy all right i actually like the way this deck is looking so far quite comfortable with it put a one one counter on a creature on top of creature that's actually nice because it does uh it it combos nicely with argus zagana Combos with upgrade as well. It's either that or just the two one that scries two. Fascinating. I'm gonna put this guy in the sideboard. I don't think we're gonna play either of these if if we don't have to. Gateway Plaza. Scry guy is decent, I guess. Senator is in the sideboard. Actually, this deck is almost like we have three, so we need like what four playables. Really, just want to limit the number of. I'll just take Guild Gate here. I want the Gateway Plaza. No, because we have a lot of two drops. Wow, that is a late grasping thrill. It's a late Windstorm Drake as well. It seems unlikely to break even on mana cost. That doesn't even, like, I mean, but we have, like, a, a good amount of... Being able to spend six mana on your turn and then upgrade your Sorform, your Styrofoam uh, hybrids, or your attack with a Flying Stable Creeper and still pump these guys, I don't think that's true at all. One, two, three. I think we're just taking the second Windstorm Drake. Flew your house time away from Miami to Chicago. I waved, but you didn't see. Yeah, yeah. Well, I wish you told me. I would have looked. Wow, the Lizrog came back. That's what actually kind of what we were hoping for there. That's pretty cool. We still have a pack left. Wow, our deck is insane after one. After one thing. And by that, I mean after two packs, not three. Uh, it could just be Slime Bind or Sagittar's Volley. <laughs> Happy to stand correct. All right, well, we shall see. And, like, this is my fourth draft, so I'm not going to cut, like, really interesting uncommons before I actually test them out, right? So, like, I mean, I'm not going to not play a card and then just assume it's bad on my very fourth draft here. 
I do like Slime Bind. I also like Arrester's Admonition and Sagittar's Volley. I like Sagittar's Volley for the Cyber. Destroying any flying creature is pretty good. And then actually killing all their... I'm going to actually take this. I think, I think Alexa just turned on. I have no idea what I said to make her turn on. Also, here's some sweet whispering ASMR for you guys. I hope you're falling asleep right now. Okay, bye. Chillbringer's nice, but our 5-drop slot is pretty full with double Windstorm Direct, double Galloping Lizrog. So I actually like Gyre Engineer. We only have, like, literally 3 2-drops. Three 3-3-drops, three, three rather. And this guy can ramp us pretty easily. Terramander. I don't think that guy's actually where we want to be, unfortunately. Maybe it is. I mean, like, it costs 8. I think, I think on... On average, we're going to probably have like two cards in the graveyard, so it's going to cost six to make this a 5-5 five, five flyer. I really don't care about this five drop. I don't care about this guy. I don't think this guy is very good at all. I think we can try this. Even as like a 1-1, one, one, the adapt is nice. We'll give it a shot. I mean, worst case scenario, we don't play it. Wow, a third galloping Lizrog. I'm going to take this Aeromunculus instead. That's a nice card to have to go. I'm going to tear man to the sideboard for now. Wow, a second Frilled Mystic? Oh my god, it's all coming together. I'm tempted to not even play the Deputy here. I don't think we're going to play the Deputy. That's gas. We just have no incentive to play the Deputy here. I actually kind of like Sylvan Brush Strider. It's been, it's been decent with the uh, against the aggressive decks. Just to have the nice little three life buffer. Wow, Gruel Beastmaster is pretty good. Code of Constraint? This could be a code deck, but I think I'd rather just have the beast. Whenever it attacks another creature you control gets plus X for X's power. So it's like just giving... Uh, I think Chillbringer might be better than Drake, but I don't think Chillbringer is better than two Drakes, which pump each other. I don't know. What's our four drop spot look like? Two, three, four... Yeah, Beastmaster is great here. That was aggressive. So we can never activate the Colossus half. Slimebind came back. How many two drops do we have? One, two, three, four. Actually, we can get rid of Shimmer here because we have Incubation, which is kind of similar. And being able to just find a Frilled Mystic is pretty good. Which should let us play whatever is in this pack. It's probably just slime bind here. We don't actually have a slime. We already have two hybrids. Like we have two of these guys. I don't know if we need a third one. I, we don't actually have a slime bind, which I would rather have one of. All right. Well, here's another one. Hmm. This deck actually looks pretty sweet. Could be another Simic Guildgate. I don't think so. I think I'd rather just have one Arrester's Admonition than a third Guildgate here. Another Reclamation, huh? Okay. I'll take a Quench. Okay, so the Lizrogs always come back, which is pretty comical. I don't think we want three Lizrogs. Wow, another Gross Spiral. We might want a second Gross Spiral. Oh, a rare and mythic card. Coll cards you collect exceeded the... What? Wait, 40? Isn't 40 for a mythic? Did I get a mythic that I already have? Hmm. I don't think I opened any mythics. Anyway. Anyway. Two cuts. We need two cuts. Good, good. Probably this guy. How many creatures do we have now? 17? Now we're talking. I'll cut this guy. Probably cut one Gross Spiral. I do want to try this uh, Wilderness Reclamation. Yeah, I think this looks good. Eight Forests, seven Islands, and then two Guild Gates. Yeah, this seems good. Nope, not going to cut Reclamation. We just went over this. We're trying it out.
keep this hand. This hand's weird. Double two drop, one of which will uh, try to ramp us into a third lane, and then we have Geyer Engineer. Hmm. In case you guys missed it, I did just spill drink on myself. Just another perk here of uh all right good game i am ready for game two our hand was very good in my whole two drafts experience reclamation is great and simic and wildly unplayable and gruel yeah I, that seems to make sense uh do they concede the whole match hmm all right wow we are good at this game I don't want to brag, but like, wow. This is what killing it feels like. Similar hand. Except this is literally a 2-2 uh, a two -two instead of a Gross Spasm. So we'll try it again. <laughs> that is unfortunate, because like in Magic Online, if I need to go to the bathroom, if I need to poop, I can do that. I can go do that, because I have 10 minutes allotted to myself. I can spend 4 or 5 of it doing something like that. Whereas in Arena, once you're in a match, you have like, what, 45 seconds? And then 45 seconds, and then like you just start conceding the game. It's really, it's definitely a more unfortunate uh, situation for, for breaks like that. Well, we get to untap with five mana. Hmm. If we hit a land, we're probably just making this guy into a 6-6 six, six on turn three. And then we also have uh, Zagana and Galloping Lizard which can take advantage of it. We did not hit a land, which is unfortunate, but we can just play two guys. I don't want to play Lizrog here. I also don't want to play you without drawing a... I guess we could actually play this and just... I kind of like the versatility of being able to use this... Oh, I don't see a reason to attack here. 45 seconds is an unreasonable amount of time to snap one off. I agree with you. It is not... It is not efficient. High alert. Man, them butts. Alright, I was looking for a sixth mana so we can actually activate these guys, but apparently that is not... Is this a defender? Oh, that's pretty good. I like that. Uh, how big can I get Lizrog? Probably pretty big, I'm hoping. Because this is 4-8. So this is 16-16 and then 3-3. So what is that? 19-19? I'm pretty okay with that. But, uh... <sighs> I guess we're just playing Creeper here. I really don't want to just use this for a... If we attack with this, they can just block here. Why is it still ticking down? Let's go. Come on. Just get in there with this guy. I'll trade with either one of these guys. It's fine. We're not gonna get we're not gonna get past high alert. So, one thing I do want to do is try to minimize the amount of creatures they have. Yeah, this is fine. We gained two life off of that guy, so it's a one for one. Yep. All right. So we're just facing the high alert deck. That's that's something. Yep. One more land. I wish this could get a land, but then I guess it's just uh, Ancient Stirrings at that point, huh? Oh, well, then it's just Ancient Stirrings, isn't it? Can you imagine if we had Wilderness Reclamation? We can just go adapt to this guy, next turn untap, adapt this guy. Adapt this guy, I guess, because this guy wouldn't untap, but... Mm, no attacks. God, <laughs> missing our fourth land <laughs> has been so ridiculous here. 
We could just have multiple six sixes. Like, oh god. Plus eight eight. Like I just can't even. We just have no reason to play Zagana. Like, she's not that much better than any creature on board, and the card is extremely relevant. Seems good. No Shut up and take my money. Now we're talking. I had money left for my Bahamas trip, so here is a Bahama bug. <laughs> Casby, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. One Bahama buck. I will trade with either of these guys. It's fine. We're also going to probably apply Biomancy. Bounce this guy. Block here. Okay. Just hope you don't have a counter. Uh, pass two attackers. You got it. Target creature gets one one. Let's see if you have a counter spell. They always do. Spoiler alert. They always have one. They did not have one. If this works, oh wow, this was beautiful. This is a work of art, and now we're de we're destined, literally destined to to draw a land this turn. So that's gonna be nice. Are you ready for the the land we're gonna we're gonna draw here? <sighs> Magic, you can suck my butt. That is unbelievable. Un. Unbelievable. Oh, for crying out loud. I just can't. I absolutely can't. We have two of these in the entire deck. We had one of these left in the entire deck. Sure. Yep, we can adapt our 2-3 our into a 3-4, which doesn't kill this or block it, so... Bad times. I, like, I just, I, I try to look at this game in the perspective of, like, if we didn't miss our land drops, how would we have done? And the answer is... Unbelievably well. One Destined Buck. Oh, wow, Double Vigilance. Did they, oh, they did what, look, they did what I did four times. Remember that time I was like, hey, I'd like to attack with this guy. Instead, they, I just activated it and, uh, is this the dude we want to make? I think we can take four here. It's pass to blockers, no blocks. Yeah, instead of, instead of announcing this guy as an attacker, they clicked on it to announce it as an attacker. And uh, they made it vigilant twice. So that's pretty hilarious. Oh, look. Now we hit a land. All right. So if they go block here, block here, it's absolutely terrible, right? I mean, that's not a good reason to always manually tap lands. The amount of time you're going to lose for a mistake that happens once every, like, you know, <laughs> one set of every, you know, hundred turns or so is, is not really uh, an excuse to, like, have manual. Manual tap is, like, extremely time-consuming. If they want to double block, I will gladly trade... They're going to double block. All right.
Getting rid of that flyer seems pretty strong here. Alright. <sighs> five, five. Alright. Just play you, draw a card, we'll try to hit a land here. We have one, two, three mana afterwards. Well, that's brutal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. I don't think there's anything with seven that you're like super excited to be playing here. God, I can't believe like that sixth that sixth mana was so far behind, which is kind of comical. I'll just take five here. We can easily go to nine. Double the number of counters. So like if we put if we put four on this guy or like four on this. Okay, I like that. We can actually do some shenanigans. We can go this guy, Lizrog, eat the counters on both of these, and then upgrade. Double the counters on the Lizrog. Yikes. That's a yikes from me, dog. I think we just have to pass here. Like, these are both 5-5s. Five Can we kill them? Is that possible? No, because this doesn't have any... Neither of these have counters on them. We could play Drake. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then we actually can incongruity this guy to make it a 3-3. Three, three. But I, I think I'm more... Uh, the, the, actually, this being a 4-4, four, four doesn't do anything against the spider, so we're just going to end no attacks here. End of the turn. So these are both actual adapt 4s, so... Yeah, that's fine. Pass two attackers! I can't imagine you're attacking. Okay, that would have been good last turn. Right now we can actually kill this guy for three and still keep up Mystic Snake. And if they go to combat, like we know exactly what's gonna happen, so. If they go to combat, this is a source. It's an instant, right? Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, let's just pass. We can actually attack with this. That doesn't do anything, though. No attacks here. Uh, pass two attackers, sure. Frog lizard. We are one. We are one man away from also upgrading. Upgrading this guy. It's sad. Yeah, three six, which is actually a six six. Uh, not ideal. Just Lizrog here. We just win with this. Like, put two counters on here. Put a counter on. Here. Put like one, one, one. It doesn't seem great. Like surprisingly, this is like surprisingly a lot of butts on the board. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're eating what? Two from here and one from here. So it's three. So it's nine, nine. Yeah, let's just do nine, nine. Six counters, sure. So if we put a counter on here, we can put one, makes it seven, and they double it, so it's 14 counters. With Trample, that's a beefy boy. Oh, aggressive. The aggression is real, right? Let's pass to blockers. 6-6 six, six on 5-5. 3-2 five, five. Three, on 3-3. Three, 9-9 three. Uh, nine, nine on 5-5. Five, five. I have no idea what they could have here, but I'm sure we're going to get utterly blown out. That's my fear. But I'm not going to like... We're also at 9, so like... Any two of these dudes getting through is... Oh, tower defense would be utterly insane. And I'd actually vomit in my mouth. Okay, well, that's not exactly a tower defense. Because I think this guy... Well, I was going to say this guy kills their entire board. But it does not. Does Lizrog still just kill them? Like, if we had nine counter, if we had all three to this guy and then double it. Wow, two high alerts is, uh, pretty, doesn't do anything. This is 18, 19, 20, 21 damage. They can block. Okay, so they have nothing, right? We can also just play Lizrog. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. I don't think it wins right now. Because we'd add three counters to this guy, so it would go up to nine counters. They would double the counters. So it would be a 18. There's 21 damage. They can block 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 of it. So they'd actually take 10 if they triple block. They could also just double block with these two. Nope, they would actually have to double block with like these two. And then they'd still have a 3-3. Three, three. It doesn't win, but it puts us pretty close. We also just attack with this guy. and like, If they want a 2 for here, it's not great. This seems like an easy trade, and then our, our second Lizrog has really, like, no. So, what do we keep to make this a guy a 6-6? Six, six? It's a 9-9, nine, nine, so we can leave 3. Okay, this should do it. So we can just go add 2 counters here, add 1 counter here. I don't want to attack, because if they triple block, then we just lose a Lizrog. And then if we play second Lizrog with no counters on board, it's actually pretty emaciated. Like, there's just no reason to attack with Lizrog there. where they go counter also going to attack with this guy because they don't have the luxury of blocking here so although if they have like a fog or something we're just utterly blown out oh we got a good game Lizrog OP why buff the 1-1 one -one? Because if we put one more counter on here, it's just a 2-2. Two -two. But if we put an actual counter on here, it's a 3-3, three -three, right? So you get to attack with a 3-3, three -three, which adds 3 power to the attack. If you put the extra counter on here, it only adds 2 power to the attack. If they block here, 
Uh, if they block a trample guy, they're preventing three. It, it doesn't matter. I don't think it matters. So if they block here, that they're preventing three as well. So like it's they're preventing the same amount of damage, blocking three or three. But you actually get the extra point through, right? Because all of their guys are three threes. If they had a two two, it would it would make it wouldn't make sense because then they can just block the three three with their two two, and then you just lose that extra point in the, in the transaction. So by actually putting an extra three three in combat, you actually get an extra point in, because all of their guys you're either gonna they're gonna lose blocking equity by blocking with a five five, and then two the two two trample damage they could have saved they lose, or they block it with a three three, and then you just they all all of the all of the counters that you distributed get soaked up somehow. So you're basically you're getting extra point out of it. Uh do you think the one drop slot might see play an eternal over Delver? I don't think it will see play over Delver. I think it might see play in addition to Delver. I don't know if we need anything here. I mean, like, I, I like Exposed to Daylight because, boy, your deck is... Let's take out these. We'll take out one of these. We'll add a Planes. Uh, how do I do that? Here? Okay. No, I don't want to do any of this. So there is no... Uh, quench could be actually decent. I just like having a Quench because, like... They have a bunch of 5-5s. Five fives. They got the Fairy Duelist. It doesn't seem super relevant. Slimebind is also pretty bad against the double high alert deck. Hmm. I could see Sagittar's Volley coming in. Oh, actually, we'll bring in the Deputy since we're already... I wow that that felt really fast was that faster than like magic online that was well that sucked cool I'm gonna keep this because we have two three four four and our fours are very good but is it is it my turn am I playing first wow they only play first that did not feel like two minutes wow Oh, wow, that was a great draw. Holy bajolies. How are we playing a 41 card deck? 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 39, 40. That's 40 cards. I mean, we didn't, unless they're playing it. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 37. Yeah, there's both 40 card decks. I mean, we didn't actually submit anything. You can't, like, submit and then go back and submit again. Like, we didn't change anything. Having double frilled Mystic up here is pretty nuts. If they don't have a blue source into high alert, I think we're... What do you think about Guilds of Ravnica Limited? Uh, Guilds of Ravnica Limited? Is is it better? What are you saying right now, Spazio? <laughs> you, are the, you are the weirdest Italian man I've ever met. But I like you, buddy. You're good people. Oh, of course they have high alert. Why do they have that? How much damage can we deal? We can give this haste. So four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we can deal them ten right now. Can we just deal them ten? And then we have like Steeple Creeper on, on deck. Or should I say, Ben, we met at the bar and now you want to answer my calls and you on her eye. I said you were a decent stream. Hey, Kiwi Splat, listen. I told you not to talk to me as my as my Ben persona. God, Fairy Duelist is so bad here. This is almost lethal, right? Like, we deal four now and the next turn we can just attack with both of these. 
You know what? We're going to risk it for the biscuit. Do you have something? This is really like, oh, deal three to your tapped creature. Do you not want to deal three to my tapped creature? None of these guys have reach, right? Cool, dude. Still trade, whatever. That's what's known as a yikes from me, dog. It would be super nice if we had uh, any of our sideboard cards here, which were like three or four. Well. It's like they just go block, block. They trade with one, but then they eat this guy. And Fairy Duelist is in incredibly terrible against Tyler. God. So dumb. I like get to counter their next two spells. It's not terrible. I think Hunter's got to go poop. I, I mentioned this in a previous video, but uh, Hunter's had diarrhea today, so I don't want to make him wait too long. So after we, uh... do you like good eats? Yeah, I love. Uh, are we talking about the show with 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 my dude Elton Brown? I do. I love good eats. I will take action here. And also, I hear it's coming back. I don't know what the schedule for that is like. I haven't checked recently, but... Man, Alan Brown. That is my dude. I am probably going to activate this now. Oh, I'll take a Zanaga. I really can't even let Hunter Arrow now because I'm gonna because of the stupid timers. Just one. Also, all their guys being three threes is insane. Like Frilled Mystic just busts them up pretty hard. Like you either block here and lose one of your mana, or you block here, and that's fine. H hold on, hold on. I can go seven too, but hold on, you dang biscuit. Did they just they just take three? Oh, e okay. Fine trade, end the turn. Seems good. Oh, you got it. We can also just play Duelist as just a way to get some damage in. Because it's not going to do much outside of this. Pass. A lot of good that did, if you do you know what I mean. So if we attack with everybody... They just go block here, and they take one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll just attack with one dude. Keeping up Frilled Mystic, being able to counter their threat, keeping up Frilled Mystic and just going ham is probably where we want to be. Again, it'd be nice to hit land drops here, but...
This should be game, right? They block here. They take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess it's not game, game, but it's pretty good. But if we hit a land, it's actually insane. We did not hit a land. If they block here, they take three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They go to one. I want to actually do it here because if they block here, they take three, four, five, six, seven. I guess they. I want, uh, they're going to block here, right? If they block here, this guy survives and it's just kind of a blowout. So then I think they still take eight and we have five guys on board. Seems good. That seems like not the correct block. None of our guys have counters. I think we're just gonna play Lizrog. It's a 3-3. Everything's lethal. I don't care if it has extra counters on it. This does draw us a card at some point, so. I feel like we're in good shape. These swooshy noises are making me happy and angry. Alright, give me one second, guys. I'm gonna go let Hunter out. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. You take him out to poop, he doesn't even poop. It's unbelievable. Okay. Sorry, guys. Oh, flame is held. Okay. That was our first played round. That's pretty funny. Man. We have 17 lands in our deck, right? Well, I'm still wondering about our 17 lands in this deck. Yikes. Well, mulligan, that's a mulligan. 
cool. Yep. See you later. Hey, maybe we can play some the next turn. Here. Were you part of the early access stream event? No. Cool. Cool, I hit my third land drop, guys. CTB, thank you so much for the resub. Mana problems still carried over to Arena, I see. Like you do. Well, that's a good dude. I guess we'll discard. Well, Slime Bind's actually pretty good against this thing. It's just a 3 4. I'm get rid of Windstorm Drake. I don't care about that thing. Cool. I'll let you guys know. If you guys want to go take a break, I'll let you guys know when we're actually playing Magic again. Yep, and done. Good times. Everybody's having a good time playing Magic or watching people play Magic. 8, 15, 17, yeah. Alright, we got all the lands. I'm just going to submit because realistically there's 17 lands. Shouldn't open on one land hands and uh, two lands never hitting a third. Like, the amount of times we just haven't seen lands, like, it's pretty unbelievable, right? Like, I mean, is it just me? I can't tell. I can't tell if it's just me, if it's just confirmation bias, because, like, I'm the one playing, right? So, I don't know. Also, if you guys didn't notice, I, I upgraded the background to Syncopate. You know what? It's Dece. Got a two drop, bunch of three drops. Frilled Mystic. I wish this could. I wish this could hit lands, but one mana to look at five cards and hit a land or a creature is pretty good. I mean, we'll have to see if we hit a third land, right? Like. I can't see a situation where we're ever going to be able to uh, get A, get past this guy, or B, uh, effectively pump this guy and get past it. So we might as well just trade it with one of our... <laughs> is this real? Like, I can't even tell if this is real right now. Okay. Well, you're actually a shitbag, so... third land. Wow, they only have five power on board, thankfully. Wow, this is the most lands I've drawn in both of these games so far. Good times! I guess we'll just play this guy and assume we won't die immediately to whatever removal spell they've been holding. did. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I'd feel much better about these games if actually I was able to play them uh, with my opponent instead of just watching them play. It was three, four, five, six damage. And we literally would play a two, three, which can block here, but then die, block here, but then die, can't block here. Yep. 
All right. Well, let's just hope the next game, the next match goes a little better. God, I really, I hate, I hate complaining. Like I really do. Like I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to bemoan this, this situation. But like, in all seriousness, like that was not a game of magic. That was not a match of magic. Like that was just literally me sitting there watching my opponent do things. Sure. Look, we got the Wilderness Reclamation. We can actually uh, see how that works. Turn 2, Grow Spiral, into Turn 3, Wilderness Reclamation. Hmm. Okay. guy ramps us, but we don't actually need the ramp right now. I feel like I have just been playing Teferi Face all day. Oh, boy. Oh, are they missing land drops now? Wow. Just a bunch of, just a bunch of solid games of magic here on the internet. Uh, I think this is better as a trick. Oh, Goody, goody, goody. What exactly does a reclamation do for us? If we have adapt creatures, which our deck has plenty of, we get to play an adapt creature and adapt it in the same turn. I mean, it seems good. Right? I don't know. Like, I mean, right now it doesn't do anything, but what does this forest do for us? Like, Wow. So they just hit Frilled Mystic and Titanic Brawl. Both of the two of them, and it's fine. I would have liked the Mystic myself, but that's fine. Actually, I was really hoping I could draw a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, an 8th land. Um, I think hitting 3 spells in 8 lands is actually probably pretty good. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Frilled Mystic? They get to see it, but I think that's still fine. We're not going to block, so I might as well get in there. I mean, what was the what was the other option? Like the the three three, the two two that could the three three riot guy, riot the riotous, the riot boy. So one two three four one two three four five six seven. We can just play this and then pump this on their turn so that they can't just do something on our turn. Yeah, now we get both activations. I don't actually think we need this guy anymore. Let's pass two blockers. I think this is a fine trade. We have eight mana. Twice. Do that. Now we're one mana shy of playing this. Uh, I guess it's actually fine.
What an idiot. Whatever. I mean, it'd probably be worse if they if they played a relevant spell and they countered on it. Yeah, I'm just gonna play this to get a body on the board. They know we have it, so it's whatever. But also that card's very, very good, so. I mean, it's still a 4-5 flyer that blocks our flyer, so it's not really, like, we, we have to get rid of it one way or the other, so. That's... What does this do? Put one kind of target picture control. Let's look at all these lands. Look at all our lands. Ten lands, ladies and gentlemen. And we've we got three of them milled. Two of them milled. Oh, my God. Well, there's a white source. Yeah, no blocks. Yeah, this is this is rough. Like I feel like this four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve lands. And we've drawn one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's a dude. Oh, and you put a sky tether on my guy. And another fucking land. Wow, actually unbelievable. Okay, we're doing good. <laughs> it's always a pleasure, Magic. Always a pleasure. So we're basically dead here, right? They attack for a million. We can block one. But they just put a million counters on the guys. Yep. Does this feel faster? When this goes to when this gets to one minute, I'm actually gonna time it to see if the seconds are going faster than they should. I don't think I want to bring anything in here per se. All right, it's one twenty-four, twenty-three, twenty-two. Wait, I might be I might be going crazy, but. I feel like I've never, like, so after the, after the previous round, like, I never felt like I timed out before on Magic Online when sideboarding. Three, two. Okay. No, I think it's going fine. I, I don't know how you'd even mess that up. Yeah, the seconds are... Yeah, okay. Ah. <sighs> uh, okay. Back to MCG after the I don't know actually. My only issue with this client has been the uh, the mana the land issues. Okay, now we're talking. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to shut the the thing off. The timer. Yeah. A just don't play anything. I asked you not to play anything. I think you play a really good creature. Yeah, it's just like, why would you do that? Wow, this guy's big. Resolve you. forever oh baby what 
We're not going to attack. If we attack with this, they can just take three, and then they can crack back for three. Or they can just trade here, which is not great, and then we don't have profitable blocks for this. This is the trade we want to make. Wow, that could have been a 6-6. Six, six. Deal. Pass the block. Block them. Block them like it's hot. Send the message. I did. The message has been sent. Well, I'm not going to do that. I also value our guy a lot higher than this guy. I am I am afraid of Essence capture. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a dude. Yeah, let's take that action. Hmm. I think it might just be that guy. Could play Aeromunculus. Could play both of these next turn and just keep up Frilled Mystic if we draw a land. But being able to pump this guy next turn is nice. I think this is fine. Yeah, we're way ahead right now. Double filled mystics where you want to be, man. That was actually a great draw, so now we can play this guy and this guy, and we're probably just going to go to game three again. Your growth spiral cannot help you. Three drop, three drop, three drop. Now we're talking. We don't actually need to ramp here because we can just play this guy. And if we had two lands in hand, well, I guess we could just... Interesting, no green sources, huh? the card I care least about? Probably the Aeromunculus. If you want to Essence Cap... Oh. Just resolved. Wow, they have no green. Which seems bad for their deck. So we can actually go Grow Spiral. Ah, we don't have a second green. That's sad. We have six in the air right now. Still no green. Did they board the green out? Like most of their creatures last game were green. Okay, that's fine. So we can go, we can actually play everything here. Plus one, plus one, this guy. Bounce this guy. I'm basically just trading slime bind here. Because I want to keep my guy, so. And I think this is a situation where we are going to use this just to find something to do next turn. Wow. 
Beastmaster seems good. I don't care about you. It's either Beastmaster or Lizrog. So we can attack for six in the air next turn, and they really don't have any much any much to they don't have any much to do about it. Yeah, we'll take Beastmaster. I think it's just better. We're in a situation where we have no no guys. No no counters. So they're probably gonna play this guy for four. Yep, seems fine. And we get a Lizrog anyway. So if we hit a land, we can actually activate this and float over. It's probably just better to deal six here. But the problem is if we don't hit a land, we can't do anything. So like. Thing. Huh, nice. Yep, that's pretty good. It's <sighs> a yikes for me, dog. Where were you last turn? Four, five, six. Doesn't get lifelink anymore, which is relevant. It does have vigilance forever, though. <sighs> I'm just gonna keep up with old mist. Oh, look at green. Green. A gren mana. Yep, this is where the essence capture this, and then we're just way behind. And this game went from really good for us to absolutely miserable. Yeah. <sighs> Never don't have it. 7 8 flyer. Seems good. 7 8 vigilance flyer. Sure. Yeah, of course. It's <laughs> unbelievable. Into gain six, give vigilance. Into uh, counter my counter. Into yeah, like it's just game. I like, can't do anything here. So yep, absolutely made. I mean. This is probably the misplay, just not saving this to kill this guy. I, I think that's probably where he messed up. But, uh, yeah, another uh, <laughs> pretty unfortunate 2-2. Two -two. Uh, you know, what can you do? Claim prizes, I guess. Three packs and 800 gems. Man, these drafts have been real hit or miss. Like, we went to... Uh, I forgot what our first record was. Then we went 5-0, -oh, then we went 1-2, and then we went 2-2. Two -two. So, not ideal. Oh, Guardian Project. That is a solid... Three, two? What about three, two? <laughs> wow. Jesus, Magicka. <laughs> Keep giving me Benthic Biomancers, please. Uh, this was not a three, two. This was a two, two. We just opened three packs. We had two wins. It was sitting right here. We got 800 gems and three packs. Yep. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching on uh, YouTube, you can check out my Twitch page and my Patreon page. Links are in the description below. If you want to help support some of these ridiculously mana-screwed, mana-flooded drafts, I definitely appreciate it. Head on over to Twitch. You can subscribe there. Definitely means a lot to me. And, um, yeah, the three is misleading. The three is the number of packs you get four packs five packs it's really weird because it's just it's just gems and packs but the five only refers to packs i guess it's not on the pack so it's kind of weird anyway you can also hit meundies.com slash frank lapore 
you'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And that link is my affiliate link. So I will get a kickback if you purchase anything through that link. And I appreciate that immensely if you're also, if you're already looking for those items in general. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Send those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you next time.